everyone, it's Alex Haney here, finally coming at you with an update about the Transgender Calendar Project. I have been getting a lot of emails in the last few months since I mailed out the 2013 calendars, if I'm going to be continuing this project, making another calendar, and if so, how that's going to work, and I've been getting questions from people about how they could go about being in the calendar or helping out with it. So first of all, yes, I am continuing this project. I'm hoping to make this an annual thing and I have a lot of ideas for how to grow it and improve it and I have definitely gained a lot of confidence and knowledge from doing it last year. So this video is going to be a little bit about how the project's going to change this year and how you can go about getting involved. For those of you who followed along with this project last year, you'll know that the main goal of the project was to raise funds for not only my transition, but some of the other guys involved in the calendar who posed for me in photographs to raise funds for some of their transitions as well. That's going to remain a goal of this project and one of the central goals, but I've also come up with a few other goals I have for this project. So I've kind of narrowed it down into five goals. First one is to make a beautiful calendar. Obviously, that goes without saying, but I really want to work hard to make it so much better than last year. One of the main things going to change with that is that it's going to be shot in full color. Hopefully the calendar will be bigger. That's one of my ideas. It was pretty small last year. Also, the layout will hopefully be better. It was just very basic last year. And to get it printed at a better printer, so better printing quality, full color, bigger, more beautiful all around. Second goal is last year I was the only artist working on this calendar and one of my main goals for this project is to make it a way to not only fundraise for people but to get other artists involved and have that as a way to showcase their work internationally. So basically I'm going to be looking hopefully for three more photographers to take part in this project and I'll tell you about how I'm going to organize all that in a bit and as well as people to design the layout. So that will contribute to the first goal, which is to make it more beautiful. So it won't just be a basic calendar layout. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get someone with graphic design knowledge to work on that. My third main goal, which was also a huge goal last year, is to be able to represent a diversity of trans people. Well, I tried to do that last year. I really want to expand that this year to just overall include a much greater diversity of people, you know, more age diversity, more gender diversity, which will, uh, which means basically um, I'm going to be including not only trans masculine people, but I'm opening it up to trans feminine people or just anybody who identifies under the trans umbrella. So while last year it was all for FTMs, this year it's open to everybody. I want to have uh, more people of color, more different kinds of body shapes and sizes. Yeah, I just want to represent diversity in this calendar and that's one of my main goals. Fourth goal is of course to try to raise funds for people involved in the project put towards transition goals. So same as last year, anything related to your transition, uh, name and gender marker changes, surgeries, what have you. I'm not going to be policing what you do with that money. If you need it, then apply and you can get a portion of that money. Fifth goal is to, to do all this in a way that is really empowering for everyone involved. So last year I was really the only person making decisions about this project. And this year I really want to change that by opening it up to be more of a community project with everyone who's involved. So all of the photographers, artists involved in it, all the models are all going to have a say in how this calendar is made, how the funds will be distributed and all of that. So I definitely want to make it much more of a collaboration with everyone involved. I had an amazing time photographing everyone last year and that was definitely 
one of my favorite things about making this calendar, but really more than the photographing, I just really love the whole community aspect of it and getting to meet all these different guys and making connections with people from all over the US and Canada. It was just incredible and I really want to expand on that and involve more people in that process, make more connections with artists and just other trans people who want to pose for this calendar and help out with it. One of the main things that's going to be different this year is that it's, um, I'm going to be separating the calendar project from any affiliation with YouTube. Basically how this project started is that I decided to advertise and market it all within people's YouTube channels. So it was all, all the guys in the calendar had YouTube channels. The calendar was promoted that way. It was really um, marketed mostly towards other trans people, which is, one of the main reasons that I want to separate it from any affiliation with YouTube because last year as our Indiegogo campaign got rolling, um, it really kind of exploded outside of that original intended market which was, you know, trans people who watch those YouTube channels. So in order to grow this project, I really want to expand that market more beyond just trans people watching YouTube. Another huge reason for that is because I think that it's important to sell this calendar outside of the trans community just because uh, a lot of us are struggling to pay for transition and I don't really feel like it's fair to um, market it only to trans people who have their own financial struggles so I'm hoping that we can market it to the wider LGBT community so that they can not so that not only can we raise awareness of the trans community and our needs but so that you know people who aren't burdened with the financial strain of transition can help some of us out with that. If you want to apply to participate in this project, a couple things to keep in mind first. First of all, um, you have to be in North America. How the project worked last year is that I used the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference as kind of the epicenter of this entire project, both that as well as Toronto Pride. So the way I was able to photograph guys from all over North America was that they were either traveling to Toronto Pride or they were traveling to the Philly Trans Health Conference and that worked really well and that's something that I want to hold on to for this project. Part of the reason it worked so well last year is that um, I was able to photograph people from all over the place and penetrate all these different social networks and that really helped get the word out without spending tons of money on advertising. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do that again. So if you want to be in this calendar, you're gonna have to find a way to get to Philadelphia in the middle of June for that conference. Same if you want to be a photographer for the project. I would really like for a lot of the creative process to happen in Philadelphia over the conference just so we can all meet together and um, have that community part of it. Um, if you want to apply just keep that in mind. You'd have to commit to coming to the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference, which is free. It's in Philadelphia, June 15th. Second thing to keep in mind, you must, must, must be comfortable with being totally out. And I really have to stress this and be upfront about it now because I don't know how far this is going to spread. I didn't know last year if you're stealth in any area of your life and you're really scared of anybody finding out that you're trans or that you participated in this project, then it might not be the project for you to participate in. Third thing to keep in mind is that if you're participating and hoping to get funding help for this project, that you will not see any of that money for quite a while. It's not gonna be an immediate payoff. We're gonna start photographing in spring summer but you won't see those funds for at least a couple of months after you're photographed. This past year it took um, a lot longer than I'm hoping it to take this year. I'm hoping 
that everybody who participates will have the money by fall 2013. Just another thing to keep in mind if you are like planning on using this as a way to fundraise for your top surgery um, and you're scheduling it for this summer or whatever, yeah, just keep in mind that you're not going to see that money yet and I'd be happy to give it to you to pay off some of the debt from that, but you have to just be aware that you won't see the actual cash until a couple of months after you're photographed. The fourth thing is that if you're an artist wanting to participate, and that's photographers, designers, whatever, I definitely think that it's important that you get compensated for your contribution to this calendar. You know, it doesn't have to be for transition stuff, it certainly can be, but I think that it's important for trans artists to be compensated for their work. That's something that's important to me. So, but do keep in mind that you also are not going to get paid for your contribution to this right away. It'll not happen until after the calendars are printed, which will be in fall 2013. And in terms of how payment is going to work and all of that, that's something that I I'm thinking that we'll all kind of negotiate as a group. It will also be a situation where, you know, you won't be able to be paid up front because um, the way that this calendar is funded is through pre-sales. So how it works is we create the calendar first and then we launch an Indiegogo campaign to fund this, the printing of the calendars. Um, so until we start funding that, um, we can't make a profit off of it. What I'm thinking, and this is all up for negotiation too, is that everybody who's helping create this calendar, so all the artists and models, will all be involved to some extent in the creation and promotion and marketing and all of that of the calendar. So it will really be a situation of, you know, the more everybody contributes to the project, the more successful it can be and the more money that everyone can make. So it probably won't be a situation where you'll say, you'll be able to say, I need X amount of dollars, um, but rather it will be, everybody will get a certain percentage of all of the profits. So if that works for you, then great. And that leads me to the last thing to keep in mind, if you want to participate in this is that I really want everyone involved to be an active participant in creating and making this whole project successful. You know, last year a lot of the people involved didn't have much participation beyond just posing for photos. Um, a lot of them did help promote it and all of that. I really want this to be like a collective group experience. I don't want this just to be my project, I want it to be everyone involved. You have to be willing to work as part of a team to make this project successful. I learned last year, like, I really need help to make this successful. Like, it wouldn't have been successful without help last year. So I'm gonna say that I need commitment from everyone involved to be an active part of this project. So now I'm gonna talk a bit about how to apply and how I'll be choosing the people. First of all, I just want to say that this is not a competition. You know, I'm not looking for the hottest models or the most, mo most charismatic people or the people who have the, you know, the biggest presence on YouTube. My main consideration really is just getting a great group of people who are passionate about this project, who represent a diversity within this community. And I need to balance this with a few other considerations like will you be able to come to the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference in June? And I also need to have a balance of people who need funding help versus people who are willing to just pose for the calendar for free in order to help out the people who do need funding help for things like surgeries and whatnot because there's just not going to be enough money to distribute a significant amount to 12 different guys. In order to apply, basically you can either create a video to send to me or if you don't have video capability, you can send me a text submission 
with an attached photo. The photos are not to judge you on your looks or anything like that. I just, you know, I would rather be able to put a face to a name. Um, when you send your email to me, first of all, here's the email that you can send it to. I'll put it up on the screen. And I want you to send that with the following subject format. So first write submission dash and then whether you're a model or artist um, you can put photographer whatever uh, and then dash and your location that's where you you're living <clears throat> let me know right away in the email if you are committed to coming to the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference in June second of all let me know how you identify um, in terms of gender sexuality whatever you want to write there I also want to hear about if you need funding help or not, or are you willing to pose for free? If you're an artist, I'd like a link to your website. If you have any ideas about how to make this project better, what you think that you could bring to this project, any areas of knowledge you think that you could bring to it, like if you have um, knowledge of marketing or any of that stuff, uh, I want to hear about it. I'm looking for obviously 12 different people to pose in the calendar. And I'm looking for three other photographers and um, I'm also looking for artists and designers to help with creating the cover, the back of the calendar, and the layout. So that could be either one artist for the whole thing or depending on how many submissions I get and how it all works out, it could be several each having their own month. So for the photographers, it will be each one gets three months to shoot. and we'll figure out the other artist stuff as we, you know, form this group. You have until April 15th to get your submissions to be in the calendar in. I'm going to be announcing who is in the calendar by May 1st. Um, that's everyone involved and you'll hear about it through the Facebook page. So if you're not um, linked up to that, be sure to go there and click like and keep your eye on that page for updates because we don't have a website yet so all of the news is going to be happening through there. As soon as we have our whole team ready we'll start talking about how we want this calendar project to look this year. Looking forward to hearing from some of you and I'm pumped. Okay, bye.